The Bitcoin sector is currently very active. The SEC just postponed Kathy Wood's Bitcoin ETF to start. We'll discuss that in this video along with the $50 XRP. There was a bub on Gemini last night, and they were actually exchanging $50 in XRP. In this video, I'll discuss what was going on there and whether or not I think it has any implications for the future. But I actually discuss a discussion I had the previous night near the end of the video. The distinction between XRP and Bitcoin which will be more significant in the future? Stay around for that please. You won't want to miss it, I promise. Therefore, I want to begin this video by discussing how the SEC has delayed the approval of Kathy Wood's Bitcoin ATF. This is the first Bitcoin ETF that the SEC has recently ruled on. And the reason I believe it's important is that many people, including myself, believe the SEC would be a little more supportive of Bitcoin. Although it appears that the SEC has been attacking the entire cryptocurrency sector, it has also been making a side effort to support Bitcoin. This caught my attention because it appears that the SEC is actively attempting to prevent the spread of Bitcoin. Now this definitely wasn't what I had in mind. I had hoped the SEC would start allowing some of these, but it is clear from this that the agency is only aiming to undermine the Bitcoin market as a whole. Some of the altcoins are really restraining the price of Bitcoin as well despite the fact that they may be slightly more focused. Now the main reason I believe this is happening is that Gary Gensler is simply following the anti-crypto crowd's instructions. Democratic Party's army. I believe he is taking in what they are saying. And those individuals are not pro-Bitcoin, anti-Bitcoin, anti-altcoin, or pro-crypto in general. Because of this, I don't believe Gary Gensler will take any action in favor of cryptocurrency while he still works for the SEC. And this, in my opinion, is yet another superb illustration of this. I believe some of these groups would have emerged if the SEC had truly been solely wanting to boost Bitcoin. But this only serves to highlight the necessity for the whole cryptocurrency sector to unite and fight back against Gary Gensler and the SEC. Nobody in this business will benefit in any way from Gary Gensler's appointment to the SEC. Therefore, I only believe that it is crucial that we truly concentrate our time and attention rather than fighting among ourselves on identifying those who are actually harming the sector. This is again another excellent illustration that it is undeniably the SEC and Gary Gensler. I wish I could play this video for you, but I want to go on and actually talk about the $50 XRP immediately. It contained a lot of music that was protected by copyright, so I'm just going to leave it playing in the background while I speak. I thought this was extremely cool when Gemini uploaded it the other day in connection with the listing of XRP on their exchange. Gemini is a corporation that has historically had mixed feelings towards XRP and Ripple, but I thought this was a rather amusing move on their part. In this video, the SEC is completely parody. It's made to appear as though Ripple and XRP had just demolished the SEC. In this film, they made a number of demeaning clips of the SEC and Gary Gensler. One of my favorites is this one right here. According to Gary Gensler, the planet is a security. Gemini deserves a lot of credit for doing this because they could have simply listed XRP to profit from the XRP community and increase trading commissions. Even while that's certainly a major factor in why they're doing it, the fact that they went to such great lengths to portray this as a huge victory for Ripple and XRP, it's actually encouraging and shows that Gemini is going above and beyond simply relisting the token to promote the XRP community. Overall, I just wanted to draw attention to this. I thought what they did there was extremely nice. They displayed some bravery by doing it. It takes a lot of courage, in my opinion, to take a stand against a regulator like this and act in such a sarcastic manner by ridiculing the SEC. In conclusion, I just wanted to let you know about this. I found that to be quite humorous. I give Jiminy credit for this. They are a corporation that, like I said, I honestly never imagined would do anything for XRP. I even questioned whether they would relist it at all. I therefore believe that it said a lot about what was happening at Gemini that they followed the relisting with this footage. The other extremely intriguing development at Gemini was when XRP was relisted there and rose to $50 on their exchange. Many folks are now curious as to why this occurred. And the main reason this actually occurred is simply that Gemini obviously didn't acquire enough XRP to meet client demand. Over the past two to three years, many Gemini users probably never had access to XRP. There are many individuals who most likely did not discover themselves on Uphold. Therefore, it appears that when Gemini's users finally had access to XRP, they simply started loading the boat on it. Now, what's really intriguing is that many of these individuals, in my opinion, are using Gemini. I probably didn't follow the entire Ripple SEC case and I'm not even sure how much I know about XRP. They most likely just caught wind of the SEC's complaint. They presumably decided to avoid it altogether after hearing all the miners shouting that XRP is a security. But now that they've realized that Ripple actually defeated the SEC and that XRP isn't a security, 
they're probably wondering, why don't I at least get some exposure to this asset as they look at XRP trading on Gemini? So it appears that all of the XRP has already been consumed by Gemini users. And as a result, they essentially had to start charging more on Gemini's own internal platform. Because if they suddenly run out of XRP and their consumers want to purchase it exclusively from Gemini, the price of XRP on their exclusive trading platform would only increase. There just isn't much more to it than that. Unfortunately, I believe it's a very positive indicator that Gemini consumers were so enthusiastic about XRP. This, in my opinion, is a true sign of things to come. People will be seeking for the cryptocurrency they want to get exposure to as we enter the next bull market. And the truth is that XRP is now the safest cryptocurrency available. It is a significant step forward that XRP is no longer considered a security under current legislation. And you're not required to believe me when I say that. I want to actually show you a video of Jeremy Hogan bringing this point home. He recently posted a tweet in which, in my opinion, he made abundantly apparent why XRP will ultimately have a competitive advantage over the entire market. Take note of this, it's vital in my opinion. And considering that Jeremy Hogan sees creating YouTube videos, it's always enjoyable to hear him speak. So pay attention to this digital resource. Due to the trial judge's declaration commodity, she said it was dicta, but it is now. She placed an excellent order. So far as I'm aware, this is the only digital asset with such clarity in the future. Are you okay? Period. Done. Now, if Ripple were to lose on programmatic sales and individual sales, moving on to appeal. If they do, which I'm not predicting, but even if they do, there will just be a Ripple effect. So going ahead and only has an impact on whether Ripple could sell XRP in particular ways. There is a lot of uncertainty there as a result. And I believe that to be a final conclusion. If Ripple lost its appeal, it would be difficult for exchanges to discern between XRP that comes via a market maker or other third party and XRP that comes straight from Ripple. And if they are capable of doing it, it is of no concern to them. As a result, XRP won't be delisted. In reality, the appeal will only have an impact on Ripple, not XRP. The online resource. Hogan I enjoy when that is the most crucial point that I believe many people are finding difficult to comprehend. Judge Torres provided XRP with absolute clarity. Currently, Ripple is still engaged in litigation with the SEC, but most of us recognize that Ripple's legal team is just far superior to the SEC's. We simply don't believe the SEC will be able to harm Ripple much in the long run. We are pleased that XRP is obviously a digital commodity as Jeremy Hogan just stated, and that is sufficient for the majority of exchanges out there. Moving ahead, the SEC's appeal was ignored by all of the exchanges. The SEC is no longer truly trusted or thought to be acting in good faith when it comes to regulation. In light of that, market participants are simply interpreting this as clarification and saying, you know what, SEC, you lost this case. Unfortunately, XRP is obviously not a security. If you won't provide us any guidance on how we should manage this industry, we'll just try our best till we find out all the specifics. And we'll do our utmost to say that dealing with XRP is permitted. According to Jeremy Hogan, depending on the outcome of the appeal and what happens to Ripple as the case progresses, there may be some complex questions regarding the precise source of the XRP in the future. But XRP is the key concept to comprehend. You and I both hold XRP, which will never be a security, and there is no change in store for that. Just to wrap up this video, I'd like to briefly discuss a discussion I had the other day with a Bitcoin maxi who was attempting to convince me of Bitcoin's superiority versus XRP. And I believe I came up with something that everyone needs to hear. Maximum decentralization is the obsession of Bitcoin maniacs. Due to its extreme decentralization, Bitcoin is no longer much of a functioning payment network. It consumes a lot of energy, is inefficient, and is slow. But they are absolutely correct when they state that you can start mining Bitcoin and validating transactions. Get a GPU now. They don't cost a lot. You can also learn how to connect to the Bitcoin network. That is definitely very decentralized. And when it comes to operating a node on the XRP ledger, Bitcoin is one of the most decentralized cryptocurrencies available. It costs significantly more money and resources. And as a result, you have fewer nodes overall. The XRP ledger is still decentralized despite this. It just means that it is not as centralized as Bitcoin. But the compromise we make as a result one that results in a ledger that is much more suitable for payments, inexpensive transactions, and quick settlement is crucial to comprehend. People in the XRP community believe that this is a feature that Bitcoin lacks and that it will be more significant in the long term than a system like Bitcoin. Due to its extreme decentralization that hardly ever functions, and I believe that this is the fundamental lesson we should take away from this, everything that Bitcoin can accomplish, XRP can also do, but more effectively. 
Now, if you want to delve into the specifics of how the systems are configured, there are explanations for why Bitcoin will ultimately be more decentralized at this time. That might change in the future, but as of right now, I believe that to be the case. I don't think many people understand how important that really is, though. It has already been established that the XRP ledger is sufficiently decentralized for institutions to use it. It is sufficiently decentralized to eliminate security worries and is more decentralized than nearly every other cryptocurrency available outside of something like Bitcoin. Therefore, the main point of contention is the long-term viability of your theory. Do you believe that institutions will join a network that is extremely slow and ineffective, just so that a few minor players may run GPU miners on it and be content? In my opinion, the majority of these institutions are financially sound enough to operate an XRP validator in the future because it benefits their network. And because they have so much more money, the higher price of the validator won't stop them. And when these significant organizations and actors join the network as a whole, the XRP ledger will continue to become more decentralized. That's how I anticipate it will proceed. When Bitcoin Maxes emphasized how decentralized the network is currently, I thought it was hilarious. I believe we can all agree that the ledger is moving in the correct way and efficiency is one advantage the XRP ledger now enjoys over the Bitcoin network. That will never exist on the Bitcoin network. I'm extremely optimistic about XRP's potential because of this. I hope you enjoyed this update, people, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. It truly means so much.